Liverpool nil, Atalanta three. Yeah. Not even a joke. Not even a joke. Atalanta with three nil winners tonight at Anfield. L losing at Anfield for Liverpool is almost unheard of on the Jurgen Klopp. And yet, Atalanta tonight wiped the floor with us. Absolutely wiped the floor with us. In what was an incredible game by Atalanta, and I have nothing against Atalanta. They fully deserved it. They were better than us. They were, they were brilliant. They were absolutely brilliant, and they deserved to win. But what on God's earth was I watching? Someone tell me what on God's earth I was watching, because that is two hours of my life I am not getting back. Two hours of my life that I sat there and I watched a group of... I watched a group of 11 players look like they were total strangers. Didn't know... What the hell each and every single one of them was doing. The passing was off. The, no defending whatsoever. No defending whatsoever. No defending. No defending. Again, another frustrating game in which every single attack pretty much resulted in us making the wrong decision. Or making the wrong pass. Or making an overhit pass. Underhit pass. Nothing clicked yet again in the final third. And I'm becoming sick and tired of it. It's an Atalanta side that were coming into this game, not in the best of form, but was still going to pose a threat to Liverpool. It was a Liverpool side that were coming into this game off the back of a horrific draw with Manchester United. I was looking for a response from Liverpool. I was looking for them to think, okay, Europa League's here. This is a good opportunity to get a few goals in, get rebuild that team confidence going into the rest of the season. Instead, what I'm now looking at is, even though there's 90 minutes still to play in the Europa League, we're out. And I don't want to be defeatist. I want to remain optimistic. I want to remain hopeful. But if anybody out there is any any way, shape or form thinking that this Liverpool team could not only score at the very minimum four goals in Atalanta, and I know that if anybody in England can do it, Liverpool can. I understand the whole history. I get the whole, you know, incredible European nights with Liverpool. I get it. But if anyone thinks that we can score four goals next week in Atalanta, whilst keeping a clean sheet as a bare minimum, is tapped. Is tapped. Tonight was just woeful. Sum it up in three words for three goals. Shambolic, embarrassing, abysmal. Shambolic, embarrassing and abysmal. That is exactly what tonight was summed up in 90 minutes. We made a West Ham flop in Skamaka look like he was prime R9. Fair play to Atalanta again. 100% deserved. But the fact that and I get that certain players looked a bit off the ball because they were coming out from injury. Curtis Jones, you could tell he was drowning out there. You could tell that Diogo Jota wasn't at his sharpest. And that's the only bright light in this game, by the way, that Diogo Jota got a few minutes under his belt. Fingers crossed we can build him up to fitness and have him firing back on all cylinders uh, very, very soon. But apart from that, it was abysmal. I thought Andy Robertson did okay going forwards tonight when he came on. I thought Harvey Elliott was okay. He was very unlucky in the first half not to get a goal. But the rest of that team were woeful. Woeful. Kelleher made a couple of good saves, but really for that first goal, should have done better. Should have done better for that first goal. Joe Gomez... That was the Joe Gomez of last season that I saw tonight. He was awful. He was awful. 
Canate, Van Dijk, no defending whatsoever from them. Just vibes, just going forward, trying to win the ball back too high. Got caught out defensively so many times. Every single time that Atalanta broke on us, they looked like they were going to score. And most of that was down to them too. Endo was poor as well. Let's not like misplace him because obviously he's been very good open for most of the season. He was poor as well tonight. Simikas, Jesus Christ, that guy was awful. That guy was honestly probably the worst of the lot in all honesty. And he only played for about 45 minutes. He was dreadful. Then Nick McAllister had his best game. Still okay sometimes with the ball at his feet, but wasn't his best game by any stretch of the imagination. That can happen. I get that. Nunes was having one of his awkward nights in front of goal. I thought Gakpo did okay. I thought first half Gakpo was okay and then faded out as the game went on. It, it, was, it, it was truly abysmal. It, it was like watching the Liverpool of last season. It was like watching the Liverpool of last season. And look, I know the Europa League isn't the be-all and end-all. And I get that the Europa League is not where we want to be. But how the hell can we challenge for what we want as in the Champions League that we're going to be in for next season if we can't beat Atalanta in the Europa League this season? And I know a lot can change in the summer and a lot is going to change in the summer. But Jesus Christ. Everything about tonight was dreadful. The atmosphere was poor. The passing was poor, the defending was non-existent. The attacking, once again, was blunt. And it, it's becoming ridiculous. It's becoming very ridiculous that this season that could have ended on an incredible, phenomenal, historic high is under real threat now of just crumbling before our very eyes. I mean, I know that, oh, we should be grateful we have a trophy and everything, but the fact that this manager is going to be leaving us and the only thing we'll have to show for it at the end of the campaign could very well be now just the Carabao Cup is just something that I wasn't really anticipating or expecting. I don't... I, I Again... I know it's Liverpool and anything is possible. I just don't think we're going to turn this around when we go to Atalanta. We struggle on Italian soil anyway. History and recent history tells you that we struggle on, it on Italian soil. Whether it's Napoli or whether it's Atalanta. We struggle. We very, very much struggle. And we're expected... To go there next week and win by at least four goals. At least. I, 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 I don't honestly know where this performance... I, I don't even know what the hell I just saw. It was a total disconnect. Everywhere on that pitch was a total disconnect. Defensively, in possession, out of possession, transition, attack, everything was a disconnect. Everything was shocking, everything was poor. I've seen kids football that have much more unity and much more togetherness and much more structure than what I saw from Liverpool today. We barely challenged their defence. We barely forced their goalkeeper into making any kind of decent save. Everything was pretty much straight at him. Their midfield pressed us and won the ball up high so many times that the fact that they only scored three is actually something bad on them. They should have probably scored more. It 
was just a complete waste of time for a home game, a European night, quarterfinal of a European competition at Anfield. And no one could be bothered to put in a performance. The crowd, not the players, not the manager. I, I looked at the, the, the team sheet beforehand. He made so many more changes than what I was expecting. He put out more changes in this game than he did for the second leg of the previous round we were in. And we were like 6-1 up at that game. We were 6-1 up going into that second leg and he made more changes for this game in the first leg than he did for that one. What is... What was the thought... Pro I want to know what the thought process was going in tonight. Because it, from, from my point of view, it looked like we were going into it going, these lot, Serie A, Italian League, not very good. We'll walk this. We'll absolutely walk this. We just have to play at 50% and we'll get through. We'll be fine. Football doesn't work like that. It was completely unprofessional. It was completely lacklustre. It was boring. It was lethargic. It was a total disconnect right the way from goalkeeper to strikers. And it was just shambolic all around. It was absolutely shambolic all around. And we got exactly what we deserved. We got exactly what we deserved. The hammering that, you know, we we well and truly were, well and truly deserved. The hammering we well and, we got absolutely dominated. We got bullied. And, and like I say, bottom line, Fair play and full credit to Atalanta. They deserve it. Barring any major collapse next week, they go through. As much as I want to be hopeful, as much as, as, much as I want to be optimistic, I can't. I can't. We're expected to go on Italian soil and score a minimum of four goals without conceding. We couldn't even do it at home. We couldn't even do it at home. Serious questions need to be asked of our attack. Serious questions need to be asked of our defence. Serious questions need to be just asked of the team overall. Like, I don't know what the hell was going through the minds of those players and, and the manager tonight. That was, that was, it was all very weird from start to finish. All very strange from start to finish. And we just, we never got better. That was the work, that was the horrible part. We found a level, and apart from maybe like a five minute spike after the interval, like in during the second half, we went back down again. And we played at this consistent, boring, terrible level throughout the majority of the 90 minutes. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm hoping this doesn't have a knock-on effect for the league. I'm hoping we book up our ideas. I'm hoping we change and tweak a few things. I'm hoping some of our uh, players that are coming back from injury get back up to speed ASAP. Because there's still a Premier League title on the line. And yes, given the choice of the two, I would obviously prefer... The Premier League over the Europa League. But then again, I am greedy. So, yeah, I would have preferred both, to be honest with you. But now it only looks like we've got the Premier League to fight for. After what has been an incredible or, or a potentially incredible season in which we could have had four trophies, we are now down to just two. And even that second one, with the way that Arsenal are currently going on, doesn't look... And with the way that we're currently playing, should I should I add, doesn't exactly 
look like it's going to be, you know, right the way there. Yeah. Shocking night. Poor performance. Absolutely abysmal. Liverpool need to book their ideas up. And I need to work on a time machine in order to get them the last two hours back. Then again, time machine probably did work because it did look like Liverpool of last year, like I said earlier. So maybe I have got a time machine somewhere. I just don't know what it is. Just abysmal. Just absolutely abysmal from start to finish, from minute one to minute 93 to the first whistle to the last. Liverpool Football Club, that was embarrassing and humiliating tonight. Absolutely humiliating. And Jesus Christ, you best win on Sunday. You best win on Sunday. I'm, I'm, I'm here expecting a response to the Man United game. Now I'm expecting a double response to not only the Man United game of last Sunday, but to this game as well. Because it's just been a frigging awful week as far as what Liverpool are concerned. It's been an absolute terrible week as far as what we're concerned. And I do worry that we may have... that the engine's gone. The engine of our team has just gone, and that's probably what has caused the last couple of results to happen. Am I maybe looking into it too much? I don't know. But either way... I just... Tonight's inexcusable. Tonight is inexcusable and we have the right to go absolutely crazy about every single aspect and detail of that performance, of the mindset, of everything. Because that, again, is inexcusable, what happened tonight. At Anfield, in our backyard, we got absolutely schooled by Atalanta. That simply cannot happen. Absolutely dreadful. Absolutely abysmal. And yeah, these are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of Liverpool tonight? What do you make of Atalanta tonight? What do you make of the Europa League as a whole? Everything else uh, is welcome as well down below in the comment section. Your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it, will make for great and interesting reading, I'm sure, down below. So please do get involved down there. Uh, otherwise, hit the like button on the way up and enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new and want to see more content like this. Both things are always very greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another instant match reaction. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I don't even have any alcohol in the house because otherwise I'd be drowning my sorrows in that. So, yeah, I'm off to get an orange juice. That's the only thing I've probably got. See you all again soon, guys. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more happier times. Fingers crossed. See you soon.